Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. Today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit different video. I'm gonna be talking robot vacuums. Now, why robot vacuums, Amy? Because you guys have asked me. You've asked me about the different kinds of vacuums we have in our home and if I like them and if I enjoy them. And I always say, yes, yes, yes. They're like, can you show me a little bit more in depth? So that is what this video is just specifically for. And the reason why is because the holidays are coming up. There's some good sales on ones. And I'd love to share with you the reasons why I enjoy these vacuums. Sweeping floors, mopping floors takes up a lot of time in my life. I have a big house. I have all tile floor in our house. Every single room is either wood floors or tile floors. And so there is a lot of sweeping going on. We would take and use the cord and vacuum and vacuum the floors and then have to move the cord to the next place and vacuum the next area. Then upgraded to the stick vacuums, the cordless ones. Those are great, but guess what? They die quickly. <laughs> Especially if you have to turn them on like a high power because you know you're going over a rug or something. Yeah, so then you get half your floor done and you're like, oh, okay, I guess I'll be done with that. So the stick vacuums, that has a flaw, especially if you're doing a large area. Brooms, obviously, it's just a lot of work. It just takes time. If you got the time, that's great. Well, then introduce to robot vacuums. Robot vacuums are amazing. You know why? You just push the button or push that the button on the app or even set it up to clean it on its own and it does the floors for you. You don't even have to worry about worrying about the battery dying or you don't have to worry about, you know, like, oh, is it gonna get everything clean or is it gonna run over a quarter? Is it gonna do this? No, it does everything for you, which is amazing. And now they've upgraded so much over the years, they even wash your floor and mop it at the same time, which is really good. So I've got two different vacuums here that I'm gonna review. This one is the Ecovacs D-Bot N8. Put that name on screen. And this has a self-emptying dust system, dirt system, which is amazing. Okay, I'll share with you in a minute. And this one, this is another really good vacuum. It's the Roborock S6 Max V. So two good vacuums, prices pretty similar. So let me share with you the pros and cons of the vacuum system. Let me share with you what takes time when you have robot vacuums. They're awesome and they're amazing. They'll go and vacuum your whole floor for you. You won't even have to do anything. But you know what you have to do? You gotta empty the dustbin. And that is like one of our Monday chores that's on the list for the girls to do. And do you know whose job that is? The one that like gets up late? <laughs> It's the least desirable job because it takes time. It takes time to do it. You've got to open, get these all out. Dustbin removed. Dustbin removed. Get these little dustbins out. Every vacuum opens different. And you got to dump these out. This only holds a little bit of dirt, which is fine. It just gets full. And then they have these nifty little tools. These tools are a lifesaver. You know why? Because I also use a um, seam ripper. It works really good too. But this, when they have a really nice cutter. So you're going to need this because you have to brush off everything. And then you're going to have to turn your vacuum over. Dustbin installed. And you're going to have to clean Number off. 12. These battery level too low. Battery level too before use. They talk too. You're gonna have to clean off this. You're gonna take this open and clean this as well. And here's this one. And the VBOT has the same thing, same system. But you know what this system does? Let me share with you what this system does. You can take this apart because you can clean this out too. It also has a little cutter, which is really good. But when this vacuum is done right here doing the floors, you know what this does? It comes up to this auto emptying station. It comes right here, backs up in here and turns on a sucker system and sucks all the dirt out of your vacuum into here and into this bag right here. Just like a good vacuum bag, you can take it out and it has the closing on the top so that way it doesn't get dust in the air because when we're emptying these kind of vacuums without the system, there's usually dust on the floor. I usually tell the girls, I'm like, go back and vacuum the floor because it made a big mess. This cuts down on that. That's a flaw. You might think, no, it's not really a flaw. It is a flaw because you have to change this. You can't just leave it and it does make a mess. That's why I'm sharing that. That's here. You know, another flaw of mine that I don't like is the quartz. <laughs> Let me show you the quartz because these things, once you map out your floor and do your floor through your app, it'll learn where to vacuum your floor and when, where not to go on your floor. So you can download the app, get it on your phone, and you can tell which areas not to go to. You can choose like different zones in your house to clean, which is really awesome too. So I know I'll set mine up because we have, we do have cords. Cords are a danger, 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 danger. <laughs> cords in the Christmas tree. They used to, <laughs> this is what they used to come up with. Let me tell you what they used to come up with. They first came out, they gave you like magnetic strips. So you'd set those on your floor. Like I would have my rocking chair here and it would just, the vacuum would just go up to that thing and just get stuck on there and drive me crazy. So you'd have to put all these magnetic strips on your floor. We had the Christmas tree and I do the same thing around the Christmas tree. Well, those things didn't stick all the time. So that gets stuck and 
Ugh, and I'm like, oh no, it's sucking up the Christmas tree skirt. So they've come a long way, which is awesome. And so they pretty much just do the floor, do every single area on the floor, and then go back to their station by themselves, which is really awesome. So cords, cords are an issue. When you have a system like this one right here, it doesn't have a place for the cord. So you have to make sure it's tied up. But sometimes it comes out, it's on the floor, gets in the way if you don't tie it up. So that can be a flaw in here. On the D-Bot vacuum, it has a place on the back here where the cord winds around. It's definitely a thicker cord, which is nice too, because if it does get in the vacuum, let's say it is sticking out, it's not gonna ruin the cord. We've had these vacuums suck up the cords and then just uh, you know rip them, which is not a good thing. These things are powerful. So thicker cord better. This does not have the thicker cord and you have to make sure the cord is up. So having it wound around, way nicer. Another thing to be able to, when you put them back, sometimes if you take starting them up. Starting charging. Starting charging. Sometimes when you put them back on the base, if they're not lined up perfectly, and then you don't even think about it and you come back to them and they're dead and you're like, oh, I forgot to charge my vacuum. So it's nice that this one has, the D-Bot has a really nice light that you can see. The Roborock, you can barely see these indicator lights here. This one, when it's on there, it doesn't show that it's charging. You just, I mean, if you got down here without your hand and covered it, you can see it faintly show that it's on. So you just have to make sure that you get it there and then it shows it. This drives itself right to it, sucks up, turns around, does the same thing. This will drive back too, but you have to make sure nobody knocks it and it goes off because it's hard to see because there's no light on there. So that's a flaw on there as well. And also under these vacuums that have the water cleaning system, you want to make sure they have ones that have a base. This one over here, throw over it, has a flimsy little base. It'll work, it'll cover it because if you're mopping the floor when it comes back, if you don't take your mop off, and especially if you have wood floors, you know it'll ruin your floor. The D-Bot here, has a nice sturdy base right here. Nice and sturdy, this is all in one, nice and sturdy. Okay, they also come in different colors. Black, they come in white as well. White sometimes I find gets scratched, which happens, not always. In my house it does because mine goes under the furniture and sometimes it scratches it. So if that's not a concern for you, that's fine, get a white one, but black I think is nicer. You don't have to worry about seeing anything. Another big factor is price. Vacuums cost money, right? Yes, they do. The name brand vacuums, and I know Lauren, she got a corded vacuum, and that's all she wanted was this really nice corded vacuum because it sucks up good, cleans really well. She used it for cleaning her houses, and I thought, okay, that's pretty cool. So when I started looking at these vacuums, the prices, I'm like, okay, they're definitely a lot of money. They're about seven to $800, and so roughly what they made, the retail price is for. And so this one, the Roborock one, retails for about $7.99. This one does the Ecovax, D-Bot one does as well, but this one right here is going on sale for Black Friday, and you're getting way more product way better deal so this is a really good quality we'll let you know on the quality but and the pros and the cons of it but the four hundred dollars versus seven to eight hundred dollars that's a factor let's go for the accessories that you give you the roborock give you a wet mop pad that you just put on you put water inside of here so let me open that up what you do is you pour water inside of here and then push this on and that's how it cleans the vacuum they also give you another filter the d-bot they give you microfiber cloth a little bit thicker which is nice kind of like my norix ones they also give you extra microfiber mopping cloth which is nice there's 10 of them in here another vacuum bag when this one gets bad and they have a ramp here for if it goes on carpet because this is on a hard floor but we don't have carpet in here just rugs so it just helps it to go up so these are accessories for the d-bot so let's see how they do vacuuming let me go get some fruity pebble cereal Okay, so we're going to make ourselves a little test zone. Since I have really bad internet right now, my phone is not seeming to want to download any apps or work. We're going to just make a little mock area here. So <laughs> if you can get your vacuums to train them to go in an area, that's what they'll do here. So it'll map up this area and realize this is the only area it has to clean, which is good. So put my benches on the ground just to show that. I'm going to put some cereal on the ground. We'll show how they vacuum and suck up things just to show you how much is left behind, how much gets picked up during this process. As you're going to be able to see the cleaning the S6 and the N8 
are doing both an equally great job vacuuming the floor. They pick up the cereal evenly. They pick up the paper evenly. Okay, another difference in these two vacuums is the mapping and navigation. The Roborock S6 Max-V still uses the LDS mapping, which is already into the Ecovax D-Bot, and that's in their previous generation of mapping technology. The N8 features true mapping navigation, which is a DTOF laser-based mapping technology with faster mapping speed, higher coverage, and more accurate precision. And you can use this with your mobile phone display to see the mapping. Okay, so based on both those vacuums going, the D-Bot one left one little piece of paper over here, and the Roborock left four pieces of paper. There was actually a little bit more, but they were stuck together. So I'll just say four. Okay, so the dustbins. On the Roborock, look at it, it has all the cereal and the paper. So that's pretty much getting about halfway full on there, just by those little pieces on there. The d installed. it only has a few pieces of paper in here. The majority of it is inside this bag here. So this will eventually get sucked up more inside of here, but not bad in the vacuum. I mean, power is still really good. I noticed, like I said, the paper one, this one turned on like an extra speed to get more paper out of it, where the other one did not. So let's fill up their mopping system with water, and I'll show you how those work. the DVAT one, you can just pour it into directly. I didn't have to worry about waiting for it to go down. Snaps in place. Mopping plate has been installed. Well, let me go get a rug to put it down just so you can see how it avoid the rug. Okay, did you notice how it went over to the rug and then it went up a little bit, but the water tank's in the back so it doesn't get it wet. And it realized that it was a rug, so it came back over it. Pretty cool feature of the DVAT. The S6 and the N8 Plus are vacuum and mop in one go. They use ultrasonic sensors, which avoids carpets when mopping the hard floors, which is nice, and automatically doubles the suction power when vacuuming the carpets, which we talked about. Unlike the messy drip system of other mopping robots, the Osmo mopping system uses a precision micro water pump to avoid leaks and overwetting of floors. With four levels of water flow, you can adjust the settings to fit your needs. And I found that's great for ours because sometimes it just leaves streaks in the floor. Sometimes there's big, like a lot more wet in the floor. Sometimes it barely does the floor. And so I like that you can adjust it on the D-Bot versus the Roborock. So just another plus on the vacuum. Okay, so notice how that time it went, and when it went over the rug, it amped up its power and slowed it down when it needed to. I hope you enjoyed today's video of my robot vacuum reviews. I love sharing what I enjoy about them and the pros and cons, so now when you go out, you can be informed as to what you wanna look for. So I'm gonna leave the link for this one and also the coupon code for this one, and then I'm gonna leave the link for this one below in the description. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you again. All right, bye.